it took a little more than what he was offering me to get me to leave, and he wasn't willing to come up with it. So um, I just decided to come back. Hopefully, I can you know, relax, uh, take a summer off for the first time in however many years, and uh, you know, enjoy it. That was Eric Wetzel telling the A-Team on Sunday Night Sports Central that he was coming back for his senior season. But before it was all over, he had to call the Colorado Rockies one more time and give them the news. Well, that news must have changed some things with the big club because today Eric Wetzel signed on to play ball for the Rockies. Eric Wetzel was drafted in the 14th round after a stellar junior season in which he hit 365 and won all tournament team honors at the College World Series. His next stop is the Rockies' Class A team in Pasco, Washington. He will report there on Friday. Congratulations to Eric. It's one of the famous lines in one of Frank Sinatra's best-known songs. If I can make it there, I'll make it anywhere. But the Giants haven't had the best time in New York, New York. They got shut out last night, and tonight they faced Mets ace Johan Santana. Anthony, Mark Anthony was in attendance, a drinking a beer. Hope that doesn't hurt the voice. And he saw a dazzling performance by Santana. Freddie Lewis just looking. Santana struck out five on the night, and he got all the run support he needed in the fourth inning. Ramon Castro golfs that pitch out of the park. That's a three-run homer. The Mets go on to win five to nothing. They've won five straight. The Giants still haven't scored in the Big Apple. Derek ready, the three-two pitch, and it is swung on and missed, and down goes Chipper Jones. Derek Lowe had his mojo working at Chavez Ravine tonight. He took a no-hitter into the seventh inning and struck out four before leaving. Bottom of the sixth, Matt Kemp provides the offense. His eighth homer of the year, Dodgers take a 1-0 lead. They go on to win 2-1. to one. Dodgers are now tied with the Diamondbacks atop the NL West. Rich approves. In Oakland, A's and Mariners. A's got off to a good start. Jack Cust, solo shot to center his 16th. A's lead 1-0. Let's move to the fourth, tied at one. Donnie Murphy doubles down the left field line. Wes Bankton scores. So does Kurt Suzuki. Here comes Jack Hanahan. I mean, he is coming. Oh, man, takes out the catcher. A's lead four to one. Then they gave it all back. Raul, Raul Ibanez doubles off the wall. Jose Lopez scores. Mar Mariners take a 5-4 lead, and they go on to win six to four. In the air, right field. Heading up, heading out, ball game! What about the season Josh Hamilton's having in Texas? He takes K-Rod into the right field seats, his 20th homer of the year, this one of the walk-off variety. Rangers win 5-4. Speaking of the walk-offs, at Chicksey Park tonight, the Grizzlies score three in the bottom of the ninth and extend their win streak to five. Scott McClain with a walk-off single to center. Driving in Ivan Ochoa gives Fresno the 8-7 win over Portland. They will go for the sweep tomorrow night. Now to the NBA. Golden State is prepared to offer restricted free agent Ernie Turioff a four-year offer sheet worth $4 million per year. The Lakers would have seven days to match. If Turioff signs, he'll join former Clipper Corey Maggette in the East Bay. Also leaving the Clippers, Elton Brand. He made his five-year $82 million contract with Philadelphia official today. And Bino Udry signed a five-year deal to stay with the Sacramento Kings. One final note that just came across the wires. According to the sportsnetwork.com website, Trent Dilfer is preparing to make a formal announcement very soon to end his 13-year NFL career. The former Bulldog apparently suffered an Achilles injury on a recent vacation that helped make that decision easier for him. You know, Rich, when, when you play this long in the league and he's got so much to give knowledge-wise, Played with the Niners last year after injuries took out the starter, Alex Smith. It's got to be hard for Trent Dilfer to walk away, any athlete to walk away, but it looks like he's ready to do that. You never know. He may get a phone call midseason, though. Yeah, see how that Achilles heals, and hopefully we'll hear from him one way or the other soon.